You know, sometimes I wonder, does research really matter? Because I know oftentimes when we are challenged with a problem, we go, let's look it up. Let me see if I can find the post I'm looking for. So Lil Duvall put out a few days ago on his Instagram and Twitter. I don't think y'all fully understand how everything you see online or even in a book can be manipulated. Because if you did, you wouldn't be so confident in repeating the issue called research as facts. And, you know, I I looked at that and I sat with it for a little while because one time as an academic, I wanted to believe in research. But I remember early on in my undergraduate career, something that I actually struggled with was, why is this person's research better than mine? Like, why is this person's ability to read concepts and then analyze those concepts and critically think about them and then preve- and, and then like convey that message to someone else why is he better than me and maybe i'm a little bit self absorbed maybe i have an ego and the answer was well he has this degree he has he's published this he's published that so his reputation says that he knows what he's talking about he or she i should say he or she right And I go, got it. But then as I get older and do more research and start learning more about how research works, I go, "Uh, research is so easy to be, it's so easy to manipulate. And I think the best research is the research that never gets published because it's not good enough, right? And it's you actually like learning stuff. You know, your 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 trial and error, which we just talked about in the last segment. You're going through your trial and error, and that stuff never gets put out to the public. People don't know that you went through this process, and when you went down this rabbit hole, here's what you discovered, because what you discovered from that rabbit hole was not good information, quote unquote, but nonetheless, it was information that helped you learn, but it did not contribute to the piece that you were doing. And so that takes me to some of these non-vaxxers, anti-vaxxers, right? And full disclosure, I am fully vaccinated. I was skeptical about taking the vaccine. But I, if you want to say sold out, I said, hey, there are things that I want to do with my life and the vaccine makes it easier for me. And guess what? I've took a bunch of pills without doing research. I've, I've, you know, made some irresponsible decisions with my life but not worrying about how it could affect my body or affect my long-term health or affect my long-term life and i go why start now again that's my approach i'm not telling you to take my approach i'm just letting you know what my approach is before i start dissecting other people's approaches because there's never a right time excuse me i was about to say there's never a right time to say goodbye which there is But there's never a wrong time to become more educated. There's never a wrong time to become more enlightened. And whenever you choose to make that decision, even if you haven't made that decision throughout your life, you should not be, you shouldn't be held back because you saw the light today instead of two weeks ago. Okay. Getting that out there.